and um, it is time for another trip. It is February 21st and uh, we are off to Orlando this morning. It's about 9.30 a.m. Um, our flight's in about an hour. I just wanted to uh, point out, Indy Airport has this awesome kids play area. I'm gonna turn the GoPro around. Um, and uh, it's a great way to let the kids get a little bit of energy out before they have to sit still on the flight. So we always try to come a little bit early and um, you know, let them play. So that's just a good idea. It's so nice that the airport has this. We are back, we're here. We are walking towards the Magical Express, which I should have done a little video um, to show you guys how to get there. But it's really easy. There's signs everywhere. You can always ask. It's super easy. Um, you just come down to the first floor. There's two different sides though, and I'm, I don't remember what side this is. Do you know what side this is? B. B. You come to side B, and then come down to the first floor. You just walk all the way, then follow the signs to Magical Express, and there you are. And you'll just keep walking, following the signs to the Magical Express till you hit the end there and see all the people in the. Uh, Special Magical Express garb. They're wearing blue pants and yellow or like gold and red shirts and they'll get you on the right bus. So they just told us line four for Disney's Beach Club Resort. That is where we are headed. Holy cow guys, it's hot out. And it was raining when we landed like 20, 25 minutes ago and now it's brilliant sunlight. We are ready to swim. Here we are at the Beach Club Resort. We were the first stop on the Magical Express. I don't think that's ever happened before, so we are pretty excited to be here. Here we are at the Beach Club. Oh. That was good timing. That's nice. Oh wow. Oh. That's a nice little balcony. Oh. Our uh, robes, club, club robes. I will uh, give you guys a tour in a minute here. Oh, it's so nice. It smells good in here. Yeah. And uh, oh, they put some wreaths information on the bed. They also gave me this when we were checking in at the club level. So that's pretty nice. They've got all the princess half marathon stuff ready to go. Just put Cody on the floor there. So it's 225. Just got here. 81 degrees right now. Um, we are gonna get some. Oh, I want to go out there, please. Thank you. Oh, um, yeah, not, a, not the nicest view, but this is just a standard room. So, you know, we weren't expecting. Oh yeah, we were expecting. Oh my gosh, but look at look at the view of Epcot from here. That is nice. We'll hear fireworks in the morning, unfortunately, at 5:30 when the 5K starts, because we are very very close. But hey, that's all right. But yeah, this is the front of the resort. Not too bad actually. Um, Not too bad. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. So I'm being summoned to club level by my five-year-old. But, nice little Keurig here. Coffee cups to go. Lots of, oh there's tea too. Lots of coffee in there. Um, this is probably a mini fridge, yes. Yep, little fridge so we can bring some pop, juice, milk, whatever we want back. Let's gonna check it out. And then, closet here. Some nice robes, club level. You do get robes, which is a nice little touch. And then the bathroom, the nice toiletries, including sunscreen, which is really nice. Okay, I'll be right there, bud. Cute bathroom. This is, look at this shower curtain, how cute that is. A little hidden, hidden Mickey. Uh, my race is on Sunday. Oh, nice oh, Cody's oh, thank you. Yeah, Cody's checking it out, too. All right, what did you want to show me, Camden? <gasps> the Mickey towel. 
Oh my made gosh. That. They made that for us, huh? Yeah. Oh. I, that's why I needed to show you. Oh, thank you. That was nice. So we got a full-size crib again. They asked if we wanted a full-size crib or a pack-and-play, and we chose the full-size crib because Cody slept in it so well. Um, last time we were here, not all the resorts seem to have the full-size cribs. Um, where we're going tomorrow, Wilderness Lodge, we'll be in a DVC studio, so we will not have this option, I believe. Um, and like the moderates and the values, I don't think offer a full size crib, um, but the pack and plays are almost as nice. These just are really nice, but the pack and plays do the job. So we are in the Stone Harbor Club Lounge at the Beach Club. Oh, so cute. Coke. So Coke, Coke, all that good stuff. You're looking for plates. Ah, the Disney chips, my favorite, and the Disney cookies. There's plates. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about that. Some veggies, crudite. Um, Stone Long Bay Breeze. Oh, nice. Lots of apple juice. Lemonade. Iced tea. Water. Um, they also said, you know, they have four different beers, four different wines, and then their welcome drink, which... What was their welcome drink called? Do you remember? Captain Sparkle. Okay, yeah. That's okay. kind of good. So, we might get some of those later. Look at this. Mountain Mix. Dark chocolate covered cranberries, cheddar whales, really gummy bears, Black. key lime, yogurt pretzels. Look at what's down here, a little ice cream. There's a little Olaf. Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time with the baby, sorry guys. So vanilla bean ice cream, and then chocolate ice cream, um, and then I was gonna pull it out, but I can't with the baby here. Um, little Olaf ice cream bars. Oh, lo uh, lemon strawberry. strawberry bars. Nice. So this is the pool at the Yacht and Beach Club. It's very nice. There's the Lazy River over in that direction and a really big water slide, like a pirate ship themed water slide. Um, the pool is sand bottom, which is so nice on those tired feet. So we've been here for a few hours. We just got some, like a early dinner. Um, I got a barbecue pulled pork sandwich. Jeff got a, a seafood roll, I believe, and waffle fries, and they were good. We enjoyed it. So we're just kind of hanging out and Enjoying our afternoon. Hello guys. So we just spent a few hours at the pool, which was very nice. Cody took a little snooze, kind of a late snooze, so he might be up a little bit late tonight, but that's okay. But um, we're just enjoying the beach club, Yacht and Beach Club share a pool. Um, it's so nice, sea and bottom, there's a lazy river, um, a big water slide, which I did, it was fun. Um, yeah, it's very nice, we're enjoying it. So I just noticed the sign, um, I don't know, I don't think you have to be a guest of the resort to stay here, but uh, if anybody is interested in that, at the Martha's Vineyard, I think is at the Beach Club. Well, we'll just say Yacht and Beach Club, Martha's Vineyard. They have this painting in the vineyard activity, which is fun. It's kind of like a, I don't know if you guys know what like painting with a twist is. I think that's what it is, so. That's really neat, that's fun. They're, they're really like doing a lot of more activities like this now, which is really neat. And there's the boardwalk over there. You can see also the Swan Hotel. Oh, I go so fast, I'm sorry. I always do that, that's my big flaw, I guess. Um, stop, 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 Matthew, you're going to the wrong building. Stop you can it. see that that pirate ship. Um, that's where the, the large water slide is that I went down earlier. Um, Kim didn't want to go down. He was a little intimidated by the, the height of it. 
but there is a kids water slide over where the where the water slide kind of or where the I'm sorry like the boat juts out like over there there's a kids water slide over there so he had fun with that and lots of beach you know areas um, the pool is sand bottom so it's just a really nice oh you can see the top of the Eiffel Tower over right over there from Epcot um, this is a really nice pool area really relaxing we really enjoyed our afternoon and we're only here one night so kind of tried to make the most of it and I think we did that is chili chili yum the 5 to 7 p.m. appetizers and they've got So I don't know that we'll make it till um, till dessert. Everybody's pretty tired. It's like 7:30. Dessert starts at 8, but I'm not even really that hungry. But they have the signs out already, so everything sounds really good. Mini ditch apple pie, s'mores brownie. Actually, mm, I might have to come and get one or two of those. Um, a tutti frutti crispy rice treat. Uh, Boston cream pie tart. And then over here are some cheesecake, fresh fruit tart, and then they've got cupcakes, or they'll have, I should say, cupcakes. So, um, and then cookies on the other side there. They've got ice cream out right now, and then like the, as you saw, the juices, and then you can always get the, the pop. So, uh, pretty nice. So we are still at the beach club. Um, it's Thursday night, and um, they've got some some offerings for the runners, a runner pack with water, a bagel, a banana, granola bar, which is nice, and then a breakfast sandwich and pastas. So uh, all the resorts, at least I think all the resorts do a little something for the runners, which is nice. Hey guys, um, it's like 8.10 and my husband and Camden are down for the count. So I'm gonna run and grab a few desserts. Um, and then I think we're gonna call it a day. We're tired. It was a long day with the flight and stuff. Um, so good night. It is oh I don't know probably close to nine o'clock. We we're just lying in bed watching TV, and I just wanted to look at this wonderful sight again. It's so <laughs> nice to look out the window, the patio, and see Epcot. Such a neat view. Really enjoying. There's just room. So we can see fireworks from our room. We just happened to be out here and Camden and I were just kind of chatting, having a little mommy and son time and we noticed he all he noticed it before the boom even. He said, Oh my gosh, fireworks. Like as soon as they lit up the sky. So that was pretty neat.